new PTU patch, and more Star Citizen news. Let's get straight into it. Before we get started, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mariah Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's go. I'd like to ask you guys to do me a favor right after this video. I did a review video for the AJ Saber Firebird, which includes all the new editing styles that I want to have for this channel. So after this video, do me a favor and check it out. I'm going to link it at the end of the video. Check it out and let me know your thoughts on it at the end of this video. CIG did release a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.23.1 A patch into the PTU open for everybody and the testing will be throughout the weekend. It says 3.23.1 A is highly focused on jump ton and Xeno Threat as we've always known and it says we will be running Xeno Threat uh tonight shortly after release and are intending to run jump town and Dino threat this weekend they made an update pertaining to the core tech they made further nc frame time performance optimization and with this is a few bug fixes some of them are actually pretty cool um finally uh to see those things fixed the very first one was um uh, unable to repair or refuel or restock at the pyro jump gate jump point station they fix an issue where when docking or retrieving a ship to a docking port at a station, the docking arm will not extend. They fix an issue causing carryable objects to fall through the floor. They fix an issue where you're unable to sell the Copian Horn or Mayrock gems anywhere. And this was uh, an issue, this is an issue since the inception of 323. Honestly, I went out um, hunting for Copian and gotten the horns but nowhere to sell the horn so i'm curious to see um if you can find out whoever uh tries this out how much are they selling copian horns or the may rock gems for let me know in the comments down below all right let's continue they fixed an issue where internal elevator panels disappear unless you look at it up close from its right or left side they fixed an issue where the f8 flying through space clouds causes hazy view in the cockpit i noticed this for other ships as well including the vulture um but i'm glad that they fixed this for the uh f8 they fixed an issue where the hammerhead vis area issue below center elevator to upper deck they fixed an issue where the ui scoreboard does not appear after selling cargo crates or destroying enemy ai so now this is for xeno threat phase two and three they fixed an issue where the address is not shooting at attacking missiles i thought they fixed that already they fixed an issue where xeno threat 2024 star for wreck site mission site near pyro jump gate has atmosphere like drag effects that's interesting that's a new one I've never seen that before along with this is two server crashes in other news uh there was a star citizen live episode uh, game dev where they actually built out a uh, a hover bike uh, just just to give you guys uh, uh, just an overview of the, the the process that they go through if you're interested i'll leave the link to that in the description of this video also i did cover the monthly report for may uh, which uh, covers a lot of uh, star citizen alpha 4.0 so if you'd like to check it out I'll, I'll leave the link of that video in the description as well for you to check out and last but not least like i said earlier do me a favor at the end of this video check out by ages saber uh, review video uh, with all the new editing styles that i want to use for this channel check it out right here i'll see you there